Once upon a time, in the ancient kingdom of Macedon, there was a young prince named Alexander. He was the son of King Philip II, a powerful ruler who had united the various city-states of Greece under his rule. From a young age, Alexander showed a keen interest in military tactics and strategy, and his father recognized his natural talent for it. As he grew older, Alexander began to accompany his father on military campaigns, learning from the best generals of the time. When he was just sixteen, he even commanded the cavalry in a key battle against the neighboring kingdom of Thebes. After his father's death, Alexander took the throne at the age of twenty and quickly set out to prove himself as a great leader. He led his army across Greece, defeating any who dared to challenge his rule. But Alexander had bigger ambitions than just consolidating power within Greece. He set his sights on the mighty Persian Empire, which controlled much of the known world. Alexander and his army crossed into Asia Minor, quickly overwhelming the Persian forces they encountered. In a series of brutal battles, they pushed deeper into Persian territory, finally defeating the Persian king Darius III at the Battle of Issus. With the Persian king on the run, Alexander pressed on, taking city after city and amassing a huge amount of wealth and power. But Alexander's conquests were not just about gaining territory. He also spread Greek culture and ideas throughout the world, founding new cities and building infrastructure like roads and ports. He encouraged his soldiers to marry local women and learn the languages and customs of the people they conquered. In this way, Alexander's empire became a melting pot of cultures and ideas, with Greek influence spreading throughout the Mediterranean and Near East. As Alexander and his army pushed further east, they encountered new and more formidable enemies. But Alexander's military genius and the loyalty of his troops carried them to victory time and again. He eventually reached the limits of the known world, conquering territories as far as India. But Alexander's conquests came at a great cost. His army was decimated by disease and battle, and many of his closest friends and generals had died. Alexander himself fell ill and died at the age of 32. But his empire lived on, and his legacy was felt for centuries to come. His conquests spread Greek culture and ideas throughout the world, and he is considered one of the greatest military leaders in history.